At the Center for Scholars and Storytellers, we focus on the intersection of youth, academic research, and storytelling. It's an honor to introduce Michael Schur. Mike is a critically acclaimed TV producer, writer, and actor. He is known for many of his successful creations and productions. We are honored to have him here today with us. You said the word honored twice, and that kind of freaks me out. <laughs> We're super excited to next introduce esteemed philosopher, Dr. Pamela Hieronymi, actress, dancer, model, and current star on Disney Channel's hit series, Raven's Home, Navia Robinson. Thank you very much. I now see what Mr. Schur was saying about the expectation that you're setting for us. <laughs> well, now you've made it worse because you called me Mr. Schur. Now I feel like I'm <laughs> years old. If Leslie Nope were here with us in today's America, what do you think she would do? And what would her response be to the events that have unfolded in just the past year? She would be like in her office at four in the morning, like writing memos and sending messages and making phone calls and sending texts and trying to get whatever it is that she was working on through one way or the other. Being able to see that on TV, that philosophy that anything's possible, that kind of really inspires you, it definitely inspired me. For a lot of people, their introduction to moral philosophy might have come from the good place. What's really stood out to me is how crucial stories are for reaching people. And it's not mm -hmm. the way that I've been trained to think. If what we want to do is bring some of the insights from a field like philosophy into the mainstream is that we'll require these collaborations. Some of the sort of famous uh, philosophical works as I had to slash was forced to do. Oh, I mean, no. general feeling is like <laughs> blah, 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 impossible, confusing, tortured sentences, long run on sentences, references to a thousand million trillion other things you haven't read, blah, 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 blah <laughs> for like 800 pages and then the person writing it will go like, okay, let me put this into like a narrative. Imagine you're walking by a river and you see a drowning child and suddenly you're like, oh my God, thank you. There was a specific episode in The Good Place. It was super eye-opening to me. It was like um, uh, the characters were in, in a train and um, she, she had to decide whether or not she was going to run over. I mean, I'm explaining your own show to you. So you know what I'm talking <laughs> Yeah, the trolley problem. Yeah, yeah. You're on a trolley, the brakes fail. Ahead of you is five people who are going to be killed by the trolley. Do you pull the lever and only kill one person? Like these are really serious questions and understanding what it means to be a good person in the world and, and why you're making the choices you make is dependent on, um, on knowing why you're answering these questions the way that you're answering them and really teasing them apart and thinking about all of their components. Making sure that you really take your time and sit with all of the loads of information that you're learning and processing is super important so you can really uh, get to the core of how you feel about it and how you want to go about um, changing what you what you see needs changing. We feel it's critical that both academics and content creators who are studying and making stories for youth get young people's perspective and that's where you come in. Yeah. On behalf of young people, thank you guys for thinking that way and thank you for understanding yeah. that we, we already think about concepts like that um, and I think the real danger is not um, being able to talk them out and having an open space to analyze them. Yeah, yeah. because if you're trying to make a difference in something, if you're thinking about like running for a local, you know, school board, you know, representative at your school, or you're trying to start a nonprofit or whatever it is you're trying to do, there will be a moment where you think to yourself, I, oh, I just don't know how to do this. And what's <laughs> important to know is that no one knows how to do it. Whatever the thing is you're doing, nobody knows how to do anything. The people who are successful in activism, I think, are the people who ignore that nagging voice in the back of their head that tells them that they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, and if all else fails, just think, what would Leslie Nope do? See what <laughs> <laughs> Perfect ending, yeah.